Hello, welcome back to the channel. You may have seen a post I put on social media last week. Facebook, I think, about saying that I might, um, might shut the channel down and well, have a bit of a break from filming. But um, I'm up in North Wales, me and Karen are up here. She's coming to visit her parents and all that. And, and I wasn't going to do a camp or a video even. But Karen said, you know, I'll spend a day on my mother, have a day up with her. Why don't you go on a camp? So I thought, yeah, why not? So I brought my gear with me and then thought, yeah, let's do it. So I'm in Capel Kirig in Snowdonia, North Wales, and I'm going to do a solo camp today up on a peak called Gacht at uh, Argov. And if you look over there, I'll just follow that path up and then I've done a route on my OS map, so I'll follow that up and see where we end up basically I haven't been there before just give it a go see what it, we'll see what it's like but I've just realized now I didn't bring any food with me so that's what I packed there's a van by there and just down there is an outdoor shop so I'll go down there now and get um, an adventure food to take with me so let's go and see what he got. Right, here we are. Joe Browns. Let's go have a look. Let's have this chicken tikka with rice. Let's give that a go. Jesus wept. I nearly died when he said the price. Just had open wallet surgery. Ten quid for that. Better be nice, that's all I can see. Just set off now, and it is steep straight from the get go. The van is down there. In the car park down there and then walked along the wall around to the left and up here and I think that's the path there oh I'm gonna have to take this off it was raining down there a little bit I thought put my raincoat on and now nothing's come of it. I'm bloody boiling, so yeah, I'll get the coat off and carry on. As I'm making my way up, I'd love to know your thoughts on when doing solo while camping. Do you get nervous before you go out or do you get apprehensive about what might happen? <laughs> don't know what I get. I love doing it. I love solo camping, but I don't know what I get. I always get a few butterflies in my stomach before I set out. Just apprehension, I think it is. It's like, you don't know what to expect. You don't know what to, um, what you're going to come across, what the weather's going to be like, all that sort of thing, you know. Uh, so yeah, um, if you're watching this thinking, yeah, I get the same, I get the same feelings, then drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about solo camping.
as you can see I've done a I've done a route on my OS map app on my phone so I've got about 3.3 kilometers left 39 minutes and current elevation is 362 so I've got around another 400 meters to go it's not too bad I deviated off the path a little bit but I'm back on it now I think it's just over that way so I'll make my way over there now the one thing I've learned today is these trail shoes ain't waterproof <laughs> comfortable as hell but this place is boggy as shit and my foot's gone under a little bit and I can feel it straight away but I brought spare socks so oh no <laughs> oh, Jesus just went right under Look. epic fail oh, fuck should I have brought my other boots Not happy. Nightmare. Look at that. Absolutely soaking, that is. leveled up a bit now and if I look over there on my peak finder you go straight ahead and gash to Argov and to the left of it you got a Voil Gork I'm heading up to a gak to Argov let's get to the summit and I might even go to a Voil Gork as well just to just to bag another another summit on the way up and that'll be another one off my off my long list of peaks to climb up yeah so I'll get to summit of Gakdorog off and I'll see what the wind's like you know just um, if it's too windy I'll drop down a bit and then pitch up somewhere hopefully a bit more sheltered but we'll see what it's like when we get up there So that's where I'm heading, Gach the Rogov. If I look round, you've got Snowden there, Crib Gork, just in front. So yeah, not too, not too much further now. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've walked all the way along this following the path over the stile and up this path here but to get to that first bit you've got to walk from the car park and it's it's straight up from a from the outset like so yeah decent hike this one oh. but it's nice to be actually walking on some stone again because that dark air is just boggy shite it's everywhere and you can't avoid it it's like you have to walk through it it's like you can't go around it because it's just bog everywhere have a look at this Socks are ringing. Oh. Just got to 650 meters. The summit is up there somewhere, and only 160 meters ago now. So, not fair. Final push. summit now I'm here let me show you around and I gotta be fair the view is spectacular have a look at this you got Glidovac, Trevan uh, I think that's Penner I'll win I'll do a 360 Amazing. Well worth the hike up here, that's for sure. I got a bit of a decision to make. Just check the weather now and from 10 o'clock tonight we're having rain and there's a yellow warning for thunderstorms so I don't know what to do whether to stick it out up here and set up a camp or or bail don't know I want to stay here I want to stay up here really do but I don't want to be um, walking back down in thunderstorm in the morning right I better think and I'm staying <laughs> I must be mad. Anyway, this is where I'm gonna pitch. Somewhere by there. Got a little bit of shelter from the rock either side, so and I got those views. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, what's the worst that can happen? It gets light about four o'clock, so 
Yeah, I'll just get up, throw everything in my rucksack, pull the tent down, shove it in the bag, and just hightail it down the side of the mountain, back to the van. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, so I'll give it another 20 minutes, half hour, and I'll start pitching up. Right, let's get the tent pitched. Tent's up. Tap tent scarf one. I brought the crossing poles, I don't know if I'm using that. I might put them on later. See how the see how the wind is. If it gets windier then I'll definitely put them on. I have brought them. But yeah, it's not a bad spot that. Pretty decent. Summit's up by there. But in a little bit of a dip, so got a little bit of a protection from the wind. Time for some food now. I'm gonna have my ten pound chicken tikka with rice. Ten quid for that. But thousand calories. So yeah, it should be hopefully it's decent. And I'm having a can of Srombo, the Herefordshire fire water. So yeah, it's time to eat. Do you know what I've gone and done? <laughs> this, this bag, you meant to tear this, you, I've teared it in the wrong place. So now I can I can zip the bag back up. So I'm gonna have to put the water in, stir it, and just hold the top together so it's so it's shut. Oh what am I doing? <laughs> Tell you what, I'm as thick as shit sometimes. <laughs> God's sake. Right, the water's in, I'll give it a mix. Now I'm just going to try and hold the bag together. Stop the heat escaping. <laughs> Ten minutes and counting. <laughs> Tell you what, really tasty that is. It's got a bit of a kick to it as well. I'll give that an 8 out of 10. Wasn't cheap, but I'd definitely buy it again. Nice. So I've had my tea now, just having a couple of beers, just admiring the view. Look at that. Stunning. I got my other oh, GoPro 4. Got a time lapse going over there. Just to let you know, there won't be any drone footage on, on this video because my brother gave me the drone and he didn't charge any of the batteries up. What a thick bastard. <laughs> so I brought all the batteries up and the drone and I can't even use it. Oh. Gotta be fair, I'm enjoying this. 
I think I've seen one person all day. One person just walking from down there and down. Now that was it. That's all I've seen. So peaceful. So all I'm doing is just having a couple of beers and just enjoying the view. But I think it's um, the calm before the storm because there's a yellow weather warning coming in tomorrow, like I said earlier. But I'm going to stick it out. Get up about half four when it gets light. Up sticks and yeah, hightail it down. So hopefully it'll be okay. Right, I'll just show you my setup. You've probably seen it all before, but anyway, I've got the Firma Rest X Firm. I've got um, just an OEX Evolution Fathom EV300, just a synthetic bag. It's good enough for the summer. I don't usually bring my down in, in the summer, just it's just extra weight and it's not really needed like so and I got a tra trichology I left 2.0 pillow with the elasticated strap on the back. And I'll show you some of the beers I got. I've got a brew dog triple hazy. And that is 9.5%. 9 <laughs> can of Strombo. Another can of Strombo. And I've also got Brew Dog, Mr. President. Bulletproof, double IPA. And that is 9.2%. So I'll have the Brew Dogs. Last coming off. So um that'll be my nightcap and then hopefully I can sleep through all, through all the rain. <laughs> well that's the idea, whether it'll work I don't know. I'll let you know in the morning. <laughs> so in the meantime I'm just gonna carry on looking at that.
clouds look a bit ominous to say the least so I'm gonna get in my bag and hunker down and I'll see you in the morning good night Good morning, welcome back. I had a cracking night's sleep. I think I went to bed about 10, woke up at four, so I had a solid six hours. And yeah, no, no thunder, no lightning. Well, if we had any, I never heard it. <laughs> so yeah, a um, little bit of rain, not too bad actually, so yeah, not as bad as I, as I thought it was going to be, so... Yeah, I had a look outside earlier, about four o'clock. And couldn't see anything, just... Clag, mist. Couldn't see nothing at all, so... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pack all my things away now and get the tent down. I don't even think I'm gonna have a coffee, I think I'll go... Get back to the camper van and make one in the camper van. I got gas in there and a, a gas hob, so yeah. So right, let's start packing away. I'll just show you outside. Look at that. No views this morning. None whatsoever. Tents all put away now, as usual. Nothing left behind, that's where the tent was. Just a bit of dry, flattened grass. So yeah, really enjoyed that one. Awesome camp. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next adventure. Bye for now.